The next thing I want to do really quick is put a fan on the front of the case. Um, I put, pulled the fan off of the top here and we're going to put it in the front of the case as an intake. So we have an intake here, we have an intake, we're going to have an intake on the back here and an intake on the front. So all the other vented areas is going to push the, uh, the air out, which will be cool. So let's get to that right now. Now on the front of the case, we're going to put this on its back here. What I need to do on this is grab from under here, let me just show you. You grab from under here and just pull up. And in this case, that opens the front bezel and pops it open. Okay. Here's where I'm going to put the fan. I'm going to stick the fan in here as a, uh, an intake. So I'm actually going to have to turn this around. All right. Now, one of the first things I'm going to have to do is take the cord here and untangle it. All right, I've untangled the cord. All right, I'm going to mount the fan in the front here. I'm going to feed this cord in through the case here. That way I can... Uh, manage the wires and let's see now this fan is going to blow air in so I've got to make sure that I point it in that direction all right fed it through, now we just got to screw it in. I got these screws that came with the, uh, uh, the case. They're long screws and should fit all the way through. There we go. this down. Pretty basic here. All right, fan is mounted in. All I have to do now is put the bezel back on which is very easy, it just snaps right back into place. Snap the top, snap the bottom, and it's in. There's also another fan on the case, it's on the side, it's on the, on the plexiglass side of the case, and it's actually gonna blow air into the case too. So we're gonna have three sources blowing air into the case, so it shouldn't be any dust problems um, on the top because there's gonna be an, an exit of air up there. So really all we have to do now is attach those fans to power sources, and then we can button this thing up. My cooling unit came with a Y adapter that you connect both fans to, and then you're supposed to put this into the CPU uh, fan connector. So this is the pump. This is one of the fans here, and this is the other fan here. Uh, we're going to take the two fan connectors from the, the liquid cooling device I have here, and we're going to plug it in to this uh, Y adapter here. One, all right, plugged in. So basically both fans are going to be plugged into the same set of pins down here. I'm just going to try and make it look as nice as I possibly can. Looks good. There we go. Okay. One set of fans plugged in. Okay. Next thing, we're going to plug in the 
pump for the, the uh, liquid cooling, uh, the Corsair H70. Um, I'm going to use uh, channel, I think it's channel 2, and I'm just going to kind of thread it through back here as to keep it as concealed as possible, and just plug it in here. You probably can't see it, but it's right next to the 24-pin um, power source from the power source, the power plug from the power source. All right, that fan is connected, or actually the pump, and just push it back there. Okay, so the fans on the cooling unit are hooked in. The pump on the cooling unit is hooked in. What we have to do is the fan on the front of the machine, and then we're all set and good to go. So uh, we're going to use for the fan on the front, we are going to use, let's see, um, channel fan one, which is right on the bottom of the case. So this is the lead from there. Hopefully I don't have to pull it in much further. And just move it back here, plug it in. Plugged in, ready to go. All right, good. Okay, the final fan is a fan you really haven't seen much of because it's on the outside of the case. Right there. It's on the plexiglass here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the cord and we're going to plug it into channel 3 over here. And that will be the last fan connection we have to do. Unfortunately, I'm going to need some tiny, tiny fingers to get it in here, so wish me luck. It's sandwiched way down in here. Okay, we're going to plug it into optional fan 3, and the reason being is because I can't get to the other one. I just can't squeeze my fingers in there that this one might even be difficult to get in. There we go. Plugged in. All right, so everything is finally together. The next thing we got to do is tidy up all these wires and button this thing up. All right, I got the top nicely organized and I got the bottom organized. The only thing I have to do now is clean up the rat's nest in the back. But first I'm going to remount the front panel. Alright, panel is on. Let's button this up. Screw the bottom in. So one side is all done. And now we have to fix this rat's nest. Tie it all down real nice. And then button it up and we'll be ready to fire this thing up. There we go. Tidied everything up on this side. I had to put it on a bed to uh, get it on there because I didn't want to scratch up the acrylic on the other side. Got it down to tight fit all those cords behind there, but hey, it's in there. And there we go. That is my PC build. Next stop, turning it on, firing it up, seeing how it, uh, it works. 
So wish me luck.